Some times ago, Warren Buffett said that he thinks he was lucky because if he was born a woman, he's most likely going to be a different person. Considering the fact that those days, women were believed to be far less important than men. Here's the thing, luck does exist but where most people get it wrong is that they don't know what luck means and what it takes to be lucky. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a powerful motivational quote which will inspire you, show you how to actually be lucky and hopefully change your life forever. If you're new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Now let's get into it. Johan Gotter said, What you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power and magic in it. Listen to that again. What you can do or dream you can, Begin it because boldness has genius, power and magic in it. Steve Jobs once said, Those who are crazy enough to think that they can change the world are the ones who actually change the world. The truth of the matter is, courage, actions and boldness are what make people lucky. This is my personal story. One day when I was in high school, I was discussing with two of my friends as we just got promoted to a new class and the best students in our old class have all been taken away from our school because it was a public school. So one of my friends said something like, We don't even know who will be the best student in this new class. Without thinking twice, I told them, Yes, I'm going to be the best student. They both thought I was wrong as one of them suggested who the next class leader will be. Before this discussion, I was just an average student who was never among the best students. But immediately I left these two friends, it then dawned on me that I've made a commitment and that I must do something about the commitment. I lied to my poor father so that he would give me money to buy books. I started waking up about an hour earlier than before. I would read an hour or half hour before going to school in the morning and when I returned from school, I wouldn't sit down with the TV but with my books. Needless to say, I became the best student in my class. And a few years after then, many people were calling me a genius, which is another word we use for people we think were born with special brain. What you can do or dream you can, begin it because boldness has genius, power and magic in it. I've been lucky all my life and I know how to be lucky. Let me tell you how to be lucky. Get out, get your hands dirty, learn those skills most people don't have. Smile when you fail and smile when others think you're crazy. Stay hungry and stay crazy and one day you'll come across an idea, an inspiration, a book or a friend that will change your entire life. What you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius, power and magic in it. How people expect the magic You can call it grace, luck or magic. Most of us expect drastic change in our life. At least that's why millions of people buy lottery tickets. That's why millions use promised magical weight loss pills. And that's why many of us wish we could become who we want to be tomorrow morning. While we all expect magic to happen in our life, only a few of us know how to get those magic. Most people simply sit back and pray and this is a wrong strategy. What you can do or dream you can, begin it because boldness has genius, power and magic in it. Whatever you think you can do, start it. Whatever you dream of doing, begin it. Whatever you desire in your life, go for it because the magic is in the boldness. The power is in massive actions. Show me a man who dares life, takes massive actions and refuses to give up and I'll show you a man who is likely to achieve far more than most people. The Fear of Failure Somehow, we all know this thing I'm talking about. We all know that if we could be more courageous, if we could be more energetic, if we could be more enthusiastic and if we could take massive, persistent actions, we can achieve our biggest dreams. The only problem we have is the fear, the fear of failure, the fear of unknown. But I have bad news for you. You see, you are already in an unknown zone from the day you were born. You were born into a dangerous and risky world 
and nothing can make your life risk-free. Fearing the unknown is foolish because you are already in an unknown zone. Let me explain this with a story. Many months ago, a man called because he needed my help. He was working in a bank, but he hated every day of his life. He wanted to resign, but his wife would never allow him because of the fear of what may happen. When he asked for my advice, what I thought was, okay, what if this man was fired by the bank? Would his wife go and sue the bank? Just as if I was a prophet, about two weeks after this man called me, he called again to give me the bad news and that was the bank fired him. For many months or years, this man has been afraid of the unknown. He had been worried about what may happen if he followed his passion and resigned his job. But he didn't have enough courage to do anything about it until he was fired. I'm not advising you to go and resign your job. I only told you this story to show you how naked you already are. Don't let anyone deceive you that you are in a safe place now because that's not true. Helen Keller said, life is either a daring adventure or nothing. Stop thinking about ease, security and safety because such things don't exist. Think about this, 3,287 people die in auto crash every day and you might just have been a victim of such crash. 100 people die of gunshots every day in America alone and you might just have been a victim of a gunshot. Millions of people are in prison for the offense they never commit and you might just have been one of them. My point is clear, nothing is safe here and looking for security or safety is as foolish as looking for peace inside the fire. What you can do or dream you can, begin it because boldness has genius, power and magic in it. Laboring under correct knowledge Let me conclude this video with the most powerful definition of luck I've ever seen. A man once defined luck, L-U-C-K, as laboring under correct knowledge. And I think that's correct because people only get luck after they show courage, boldness and massive actions. You can't ever get luck inside your room. You've got to go out, try things, make mistakes and fail. You've got to be bold and courageous. You've got to endure failure after failure and never give up. Winston Churchill said, success is moving from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. What you can do or dream you can, begin it because boldness has genius, power and magic in it. Get out and fight for your dreams. Get out even if you make mistakes. Get out even if you fail. Get started even if you die trying to be who you were created to be.